Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So, today, I was like in two minds whether to do this video because A, I know it's going to take me ages to do it um, because I have the, well, I won't say the biggest stash because I know there's people out there with bigger stashes than myself but I know I have a big stash and they are all like piled in my wardrobe and neatly piled but it's hard to get them back out so I have got them back out and I've got them out in an order and they've got to go back in an order and it is going to be a long job but I wanted to do this video for you guys this is my stash video the reason I'm doing this is because I want it as like a memory to look back this was my stash this was what paintings I've got it obviously doesn't include whips that I have I'm going to do a separate video on my works in progress on my kitted up um diamond paintings that aren't included in this and it doesn't include ones that I've already previously done but I do think I've got a good variety and I can't wait to have a look what I've got and remind myself and probably go oh my gosh I really want to do that one next but you know so I don't want anybody thinking I'm trying to brag I'm not trying to brag um I don't even know why youtubers have to say this to be fair because we are just doing this for people's entertainment but I'm just I'm doing this because I want to so I thought the best way to do it is to do all of my like single ones like ones that I've just got like one off from one store and then go into like boxes and stuff like that so the order will become apparent so the first one is this custom that I got made from the diamond den of me mum nana um and I do really want to do this one but it is an 80 by 60 very nice big one um and it does have 55 colours in so I will get around to doing it at some point I've got the custom dog painting of my two dogs already kitted up to do and by the time this video comes out I may have done a bit of it but currently it's just kitted up but I can't wait to work on one of them I haven't done a custom before I haven't finished custom and this one means a lot to me so that's that one okay the next two you can't actually see but I can show you a little image so this one is the French Bulldog from Animal Shine. It's really cute. I really do like the feeling of this canvas. Um, I am an affiliate with Animal Shine but I have yet to do this. It is square. It is 40 by 50. It has 45 colours in it. And I just got it because it was super cute. And I was asked to become an affiliate. So I thought well I need to try it. I need to get a painting first. The next one, originally I did want for a bedroom, but now when I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the big canvases, this is not big enough to get in my bedroom, but I can get it the next size up, like a 50 by 60, or is it 60 by 70? But I thought, I'm not spending, because it was quite expensive, I was like, I'm not spending money until I see how it turns out. So this one, let me just peel it back a little bit so you can see, focus. Is a woman in bed <laughs> it's literally called woman in bed um and that is from just paint by numbers uk once again it is a 40 by 50 in square and it is double-sided tape the next one i have is from prism diamond paintings this is a tracy hazelwood um rock and roll art image that they license from her I am actually currently doing one from Prison and Tracy Hazelwood, Luna Moss. Um, but this one was my original that I bought myself because I just think it's super cool. Um, and yeah, so I do look forward to doing this one. It is 70 by, oh no, 60 by 60 and has 35 colours in it, but very colourful. You will see, I mean, unless an image really strikes me, I do prefer colourful ones. So then the next ones, I'll do other ones that I actually have to physically get out to show you. I have 
five little images. So the first one, I'm not going to unroll it all, is this one. I think this was New Craft Day that I got it from. It's a little like zen image. Yeah, I'm just doing it like this. <laughs> I've got a lot guys. I've got like, I don't even know how many. I might do a tally after. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've got to go quite fast or fast enough. That one is like a little mermaid pinky blue one, that's, which I just proper love. Like I like little mermaid and it's super cute. Um, the next one is this like um, Hawaiian print one. I really like that as well. They're just images that kind of stuck out to me. These are all new craft day. I'll do the last new craft day one, which is this one here, a very nice colourful tree. And then this one, oh goodness, I think it was by a company called Outdoor Tide, something like that. And I've done it the other way around, so I need to unravel it. So I may as well just show it, yeah. Um, this one is just a little giraffe, very cute, colourful giraffe. Um, they are all, apart from the Zen one, I think the Zen one's 30 by 30, but that's canvas size, so 25 by 25. And the other ones are all 30 by 40s, but once again canvas size so I think that the actual pasting area is 25 by 35 for them they're nice little dinky ones I will get around to doing it at some point just for like a snack size okay then on to I think all these are just ones that I've got one off and either boxes or this one that I don't have to get out because it has a sheet this is by uh, Diamond Art Dreams by Sherry Baldy. It is Steampunk Mermaid or Steampunk Purple Sea Mermaid is the actual name but it was called Steampunk Mermaid when it was in Diamond Art Club but then because Sherry Baldy made her own company they stopped licensing Sherry Baldy art and because I wanted it I ended up getting it from Sherry Baldy herself so this is a 50 by 60 I believe it's in rounds double check yep rounds um, and it has 35 colours I do look forward to doing this one I think it's really cute it's only a 50 by 60 so not not too too bad okay the next one am I going to have to get this out it is a very battered crafties box I am on I so I'm also an affiliate to crafty so if you go I'll have all like these in the description box of my video um so you are able to find like the links and stuff um but this one is an awesome image 40 by 50 which is the full drill site it's just not the the full you know what you're going to diamond paint on and it's called portrait of Porsche which is a licensed image I forget the artist I think it's is it called Penelope Hunter or something like that I could totally be getting that wrong but that's just a name that's in my head I don't think it is she must be an artist with someone else um but yeah it's such a nice image very colorful and I got that one from crafties I just really like it I'm gonna say that like, if you want to play a drinking game it's I just really like it um obviously I like them all that's why I picked them even when I get sent free ones I usually have a choice so I look and I pick what I like 
so battered crafties box but I'll get rid of that when I actually come to doing it the next one is by diamond dots it is I have done a few diamond dots ones before but this one is I think it's called peach dahlias it doesn't say but I'm pretty certain that's the name of it which is like that it's a really pretty I believe they're called dahlias really pretty image the next one is by Distracted by Diamonds it is Space Letterman 2 by Geneva Bowers licensed obviously and I just got this one because I really like space well I don't, James does but I like the space outfits and I just think Geneva Bowers does amazing art obviously inclusive it's just awesome so there's that one the next one, I love this box, is Diamond Art Studio UK. There's the stuff. I can find them. And it is on one of the ends. Aha. Uh -huh. It's um, by Spotterworks. Um, and it is called Excited Duckling. I want to say Duckling. It is a Duckling. Um, but it's Excited Duck or Excited Duckling. It is a, I want to say 50 by, no I think it's a 60 by 80 actually, 60 by 80, and like I said from Diamond Art Studios, it is a square as well, I forgot to tell you how, oh it does say it on the box, 62 by 77 is the Geneva Bowers one and that is Oh, I don't know if it's round or square, I can't remember, I think it might be round, but don't hold me to it. The next one, the ultimate best packaging, I have to give it to them, it is Craftably. And this one is Puppy Crazed Petunia by Sheena Pike, also licensed, I got the round drills because they didn't have square in stock. Um, and it's so cute and the reason I got it was for the little Cavalier King Jazz Spaniel on her head because I own Cavies um, and I got one for my mum as well so both got one okay so that is all of the I've only got ones of them um, so next up is Treasure Studios Arts so all these are by Treasure Studio arts um and they are i believe an australian company i really like them i'm gonna say it for them all aren't i they come in these fabulous boxes they're all made to order kits so you can pick size diamond shape all that good stuff and you get them in a box like this um so this one here is a 40 by 80 of jessica rabbit by lizzie falcon these are all lizzie falcon and it is in round and how cool does that look I love Jessica Rabbit and I just needed it the next one is also 40 by 80 of Milkshake by Lizzie Falcon and it is also 40 by 80 in round I just remember what I ordered with these that's why I know it's round this one the top's kind of coming off of it but as you can see it is forever pink by Lizzie Falcon it is a 60 by 60 and it's square I just think her work is so cool I love the faces and stuff so I did buy four but one of them shine on is already kitted up okay so that is Treasure Studios Arts I only have three of them and then now we go on to Dreamers Designs I am bad I know I am aware um so Dreamers we have the first one is Luna Love Good by Curtis Rykovic. It is a 60 by 80 and I think it is a square but don't hold me to it. Um, this one is sadly discontinued so super cool right there. I don't even like Harry Potter but she looks cool. That's why I got it. Um, so then the next one is 
Harley, also by Kurtis Rykovic, and is also 60 by 80 and I believe still square. Super cool. I like Harley Quinn. Um, there was a phase where everybody was going as her for Halloween now. Like, and then the partner was the joke, and it was really sad and cringe. But we're over that now. Um, but there's the little joker. Love it. Okay, and then the next one is End of the Rainbow by Anne-Marie Bones. So cute. This is also a 60 by... Oh, it's a 90 by 60. God. So 10 centimetres longer than the other ones. And it's a super pretty rainbow image with some like little deers so they're really cool then I've got two smaller ones from Dreamers I've got another Curtis Rykovic which is Symphony this one I believe is round and it is a 40 by 50 I think End of the Rainbow was square as well but I just love that one I'm a bit sad that it is only 40 by 50 but I love it nevertheless um, and then finally from Dreamers we have Dream Big by Jane Maday or Maday or however you say it, okay. Maday, um, which is also 45 50 and it is round but it also has a lot of um, special drills in it so that one's really cool and I just got it because I like butterflies and I just like the same Dream Big. I think when I get myself a classroom, this will be going up on the wall, 100%. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some rejiggery pokery um, because I don't even have room, I don't think, on my bed to get all these diamond art clubs out. So give me two minutes. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? Right, we're going to start biggest to smallest. Um, or by biggest, I mean the box is the biggest. So the first one is Titania and Oberon. These are all, by the way, by Diamond Art Club. <laughs> so just bear that in mind because there's a lot. Um, but yeah, this is Titania and Oberon. It is by Josephine Wall. So gorgeous. Um, and it is 70 by 98 centimetres in square. I just love, love that one so much. I just had to have it. Um, the next one, here's my Christmas one, Christmas Morning by the McNeil Studio, 105 by 70, the same size as Fujiflora, hence why I'm not even attempting it for this Christmas. Uh, also square, I think all of these big ones are square, um, my ginormous ones, so it must be like, I think, it, I think it's because they're that detailed that they have to be square or they'd be even bigger. Um, so this one's Curl Up With A Book by Randall Spangler. I do have quite a few draglings, um, which you will see, and I really enjoy the draglings. I should have done these in artists, but <laughs> I'm not, I am not that organised, so they are going to be all random, but I will tell you. Uh, but Randall Spangler does these cute little draglings, and this one's Curl Up With A Good Book. He's sat reading. Um, by the candlelight with some cookies. It's 70 by 70 and in square. <laughs> okay, this is a workout and a half. Told you there were a few draglings. This one's the Literate Dragon. It's also a 70 by 70 in square. And it is this old guy reading a Shakespeare book. And it's also by Randall Spangler because it's a draggling. So I just want to collect all the draglings. I'm nowhere near there because I keep bringing more and more and more out and I'm like stop bringing them out I'm going to be skint but I can't even fit any more in my room so till I can it's not happening so this is another big one this is a view of Santorini by Sam Park square again and 98 by 70 I just think it's beautiful Santorini is a gorgeous place I really hope I can visit there one day Okay, so they're the only ginormous boxes I've got, thank the Lord, because I don't even know how I'd fit them in. Um, so let's move on to the next biggest ones. So, Dominic Davidson, this is Venice Al Fresco. It is 76 by 51, which for a scenery one is a much nicer size. 
um, I do have to admit it is square again and it's just Venice another place I'd really love to visit so super cute okay then we have around this time it is the people's princess by Mandy Manzano it's round and it's 46 by 66 I don't you just love Diana and how beautiful is this she's done such a stunning job gorgeous I actually really want to hit this one up um, which I think I'm gonna do because I need more room so I need to kit a few paintings up, they won't be done for a while but they need to be kitted up so I can get rid of the boxes. So I think I'm putting that one to the side um, to kit up later. Then another draggling one, you can just about see them there. This is a universe in a jar, square again by Randall Spangler, 56 by 64. Holy moly, we are nowhere near there. Um, this one is Butterfly of Paradise by Yuri Malkov. Gorgeous, stunning, colourful. I hope you can see that I do like colour. Um, it's 84 by 56. Beautiful. It was when I went through all these, are like literally from my huge, like, load of pre orders that I did. I'm bad, I know. These literally will have me for the next year, which is good because, in fact, probably the next two years. Just saying, but we are getting a house. I will buy more, obviously, but the house is going to cost a lot of money at the start. So I'm on a buying ban. So this one's Each Tree Has a Soul by Ola Darshuk. Dar I want to say it's 71 by 46 a lovely size and it's square lots of colors there by no means do I actually think that I have <laughs> like too many I do that's a lie um but if you've got more than this then I salute you because you must have a big house or at least lots of storage space or a really nice husband or partner or whatever that lets you have them all over the shop. James is like, hey, I'm feeling the wardrobe. I'm chucking them in the bin. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that is just because I don't have space. Um, so, Bubble Fairies. This is another Randall Spangler. How cute is this one? I think that has to be my favourite that I've got so far. Because of the pink and the fairies and the castle, how cute. It's 69 by 56 also square oh my goodness right and then the next one another draggling it's afternoon tea it's round this time so this one's round and same size 56 by 69 it's a common size for the draglings super cute okay nowhere near there but you know what it's like rainbow little dragon this is also one that i'm desperate to get kitted up or dragon the z by sheena pike how cute is that that is square and it's 51 centimeters by 61 centimeters i love it so much i definitely need to have that one kitted up as well okay next one Betty Boop and Pudgy, it's a nice Christmas one, it's a partial, so you just do Betty Boop, the name and Pudgy and the love heart, but you don't do the black and white background, so I really like that one. Another Betty Boop, this one Betty Boop Oopa Doop, um, another partial. So you just do, you can kind of see it on the image, you just do her face and stuff and her body, you don't do the Betty bits background, love that one, I think it's so cool. They'll just be nice, like they're not snack size when you open them, like they are 51 by 71 but they will work up like a snack size, which is good. 
and then another Betty Boop, this is Biker Betty. It's also square, all of them are square, I forgot to say, and they're all 51 by 71. Super colourful, I love it. That's another one I really want to kit up. So you'll be seeing these kit up videos. I'm keeping them out because I'm definitely doing it. Right, that was all that was in my wardrobe. Now I've got some of that size in my drawer. So give me two seconds. Okay, so the next Betty Boot one, this is Betty Love. And it is also 51 by 71 in square. They're all square, all 51 by 71. And it is super cute. I like it. Um, and then we have finally another round. Um, this is The Beast by Mandy Manzano. 46 by 131 centimetres. It's over a metre long. So over a metre and a quarter actually but this is going to look so good with all my Disney ones the long thin ones up on my wall in my like crafty room in my new house so I do need to get that done at some point but I'm gonna when I finally finish Snow Queen then I'll do I'll kit that one up Okay, then we have So Many Books, So Little Time. It's another draggling one by Randall Spangler. Square again, 56 by 109 centimetres. Like I said, the reason for getting them is I just want to collect them all. They're super cute. Undersea Dreaming. It's like a um, Little Mermaid one by Mandy Manzano. So many nice colours in this. 47 by 78. Gorgeous. Right, I think we are closing in, guys. We are getting there, slowly but surely. Belly Dancer by Avita Works. It is a square, it's so colourful, so beautiful. 71 by seven, uh, 51 by 76. Very common diamond art size. Um... Artemisa by Ennis Guero. James bought me this one because he really likes it. I think it's because she's got no top on. I'll be honest. And you can see like her boobies. But he won't admit that. He says it's because she's like a Greek god. Or a Roman god. No, a Greek god. But I was like, okay, hun. That's the reason. As long as you bite me, I'll be fine. So it's square. And it is 56 by 104. My God, why are they all so big? I know why they're big. They're big so they look good, but you know. They'll just take me forever to do. Okay, the next one, the only Hannah Lynn I have. It's Good Witch, like the Wizard of Oz. Love it. Square again and 56 by 79. Another very common size. Love it. Colourful, cute, what more can you want? The fairest of them all, this is another one of my Disney ones. Snow White, it's by Mandy Manzano, it's round again. This time it's 42 by 125, so the same size as one worth melting for. Which I actually really enjoy because they're thin. I like the thin and long. So that's that one. Okay, and then... All I've got now is the smaller boxes. Ooh. I know, I've got an addiction. This one is Wonderland by Mandy Manzano. Go this one honestly is proper stunning. Like the colours in it are unreal. Um, and it is a nice little one. It is 42 by 59 in round. I really do look forward to working on this one. It was one of my first purchases. That with one worth melting for, I think, or fair some more. It was in one of them orders. Amazing. The next one. Now, this one is called Butterfly Effect. And I'm pretty certain it has discontinued, so I'm so glad because I wanted it forever. So glad I got my hands on it. It's round. It's 40 by 58. It's by Kate Louise Powell. Stunning. And I like it because I have a butterfly 
on my shoulder a tattoo so just stunning love it and then last but not least well I mean it's one of my smaller ones oh, but I do really love this one it is Nefertiti by Mandy Manzano it is so cute look at the size of that box super cute I mean I do have boxes I think this might actually be the smallest box I do have because I can check you see because they're all in front of me I think it is so it's the smallest box it's by Mandy Manzano it's round it also includes some special drills awesome look at them eyes wow love it so that is my stash should we count should I okay five six seven in fact let me just bring you up and out so you can see all this on my bed in fact you can't even see it all <laughs> yikes okay so we have is this even gonna let you no right there's five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen then i've got four there so 18 then i've got three on the floor 19 20 21 22 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, there's five there, 47, and then three on the floor, I have 50, that aren't kitted up, exactly 50, yeah, I have an issue, I have a problem, but I am on buy no spend ban now. Seriously. I can't buy anymore. And these three are definitely the ones I want to kit up next. Because I think they'll be quite quick to work on. But yeah. Here are all my damn paintings. Right then guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching. And until next time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.